It's a battle to control destiny in the Big East. That's between Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on the College Football Previews presented by AT&T here on CBSSports.com. Let's bring in Spencer Tillman to break this all down. And uh, Spence, when you look at the Big East standings, if Cincinnati wins and then beats Syracuse, they're in the BCS. If Pittsburgh wins out, they're in the BCS. But which one of these two teams right now do you think is playing better? Um, that's a tough question. Both of them have had to, to overcome issues at key positions and have done well. I probably would say overall, um, Pittsburgh probably has because there's a cluster of teams that uh, Dave Wanstad has not been able to beat since coming on board four years ago that this year he started to show some dominance against Notre Dame being one of them. So Louisville another one. So he's gotten a win against those teams that before this year uh, he hadn't been able to beat. So I think that Pittsburgh probably has done the most in this period of time since he's been on board. Well, they certainly overcame a tough start to the season when they lost to Bowling Green at mm -hmm. home. They've won seven of their last eight. And Dave Wanstead hadn't taken his alma mater to a bowl game. They're going to do that. What has been the key for his season this year? Well, I think uh, LaShawn McCoy, I mean, their running back has been key. Stall, their quarterback, uh, is healthy this year. Unlike last year, that prevented them from getting in a bowl, if you recall, when you lose your quarterback. So I think health there, and I think their defense has stepped up. And everyone thought that the Pittsburgh defense would take on the character of his coach. I mean, he was an old linebacker, recruited me many years ago at Oklahoma State. Tough guy. That defense started to finally take on the persona of their head coach this year, and I think that's buoyed them down the stretch as well. What about for Cincinnati, Spence? Because uh, they've had quarterback yeah. issues as well. A lot of problems with injuries. Tony Pike is banged up but expected yeah. to play this weekend. Talk about the job that Brian Kelly has done this year. Boy, hadn't he done a great job, Jason? I mean, that has been a revolving door. Earlier this year, we opened up with Oklahoma there at um, UT Chattanooga, and then they were followed by the Cincinnati game. And I was so impressed with Gilliard, their big return guy, but I was equally as impressed with uh, Coach Brian Kelly's ability to handle his quarterback situation. It didn't seem like no matter who was under center, they were going to have success at that position. And that really speaks to, in a Steve Spurrier-esque kind of way, Brian Kelly's ability to let his system control the outcomes of games. So again, in that regard, he's done equally as impressive job as has Dave Wanstad. And again, it's Tony Pike and it's Bill Stahl, quarterbacks that have been banged up, but both ready to go. Uh, Spence, Pittsburgh is coming off a bye. Uh, Cincinnati yeah. is not. Cincinnati beat Louisville last week. Pittsburgh beat them two weeks ago. How big is the fact that Pittsburgh had that extra week to get ready in this game? Well, it's important anytime you're, you're facing a, a multiple offense like uh, Brian Kelly runs at Cincinnati, extra time certainly helps. You, you, the attitude of your players coming into that, their focus is going to be critical. That's something as a coach you've got to manage real time. But in terms of how that impacts Pittsburgh, uh, when you rely on McCoy, you know, Shady McCoy is a pretty good running back. There's not a whole lot of sophistication that's going on there. All you have to do is just make sure you stay in shape, do the right things, your assignments are down. Uh, again, not, nothing nearly as complex as what Cincinnati's having to deal with on the offensive side of the ball. One thing that could be a huge factor in this game, since, uh, field position. Cincinnati, yeah. best punting team in the nation, ninth best in kickoff mm -hmm. return. Pittsburgh special teams not as good as Cincinnati's, though, though still pretty decent. Spence, who wins this football game and controls its destiny for the BCS? Well, listen, I've always liked Dave Wanstead. He's a good friend, known him for many, many years. But I think that Brian Kelly's offense, no matter who's on the center, is going to give them some problems. That said, I still think Pittsburgh continues to succeed with him, and Dave Wanstead does what they hired him to do. And that's almost delivered championship. So I think that they're going to get this victory big time. Well, if Cincinnati loses, then, of course, they get, like we said, it is uh, Pittsburgh's to control, but then they still have to deal with West Virginia and Connecticut as That's well. Right. Cincinnati's road would be a lot easier because if they win this game, all they got to do is beat Syracuse again at home uh, to move on. So we'll see how it all plays out. Spencer T., thank you very much, sir. We'll see you on the college football today. All right, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. And, folks, don't forget, for more, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. And, of course, SEC on CBS this weekend, like it is every weekend. It's on Saturday and, of course, 3.30 p.m. Eastern kick. You can also see SEC Live presented by AT&T. This weekend, it's number 18 LSU hosting Ole Miss battle for second place in the SEC West, of course, behind Alabama, who's undefeated on the season. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.